What's up everyone, Dave with Up Concrete, and today we're going to discuss why do walls and ceilings in my home crack? This is 3 Minutes of Why with your foundation guy. Okay, so today we're going to discuss why do walls and ceilings in my home crack? So I'm going to set the timer for three minutes so we can keep it under time. So let's go now. So what are, there's really three main things that can cause uh, cracks maybe in your drywall or your brick or your interior and exterior walls of your home. There are a multitude of reasons, but today we're going to cover the three main reasons. Reason number one would probably be drought. So you're thinking, what, what could cause, why would drought cause my house cracks? Well, I want you to imagine soil like a sponge. When a sponge is full of water, it's plump and it's full and it's as big and it's as big as it's going to be. But when it dries out, it shrinks and soil is a lot like that. So what happens is the soil under your home, if it's dry, cracked, and during a drought, that sponge soil will shrink and it will collapse on itself. So if your footings or your walls or your home's foundation are sitting on that soil, what happens is that it will fall and it will collapse with that soil. That is one of the main reasons we see settlement in a home is because of drought. So that can cause, obviously, if a, if a corner of a home settles, you're going to see a lot of cracking and a lot of breaks around maybe windows and doors. It's usually the first place you're going to see that kind of stuff. The second thing that we see a lot is water, excessive water. We just got done talking about soil as a sponge. That sponge can just keep soaking up water, keep soaking up water, especially certain types of soil. Here in the Midwest, we have um, a soil called glacial till that can be very um, expansive. It's a very expansive soil. If it gets too much water, it can balloon up, it can blow up. So if a footing or a wall or a foundation, of a home is sitting under that soil and it goes up, that also can create what's called heave. That will create a lot of breaks around windows and doors again. That's usually the first place you're going to notice uh, cracking and breaks in your home. But that heave from the water and the expansive soil can create um, a lot of cracks. And the third main reason we see a lot of uh, cracking and breaks, especially here in the Midwest where it gets cold, is frost. So the frost line kind of varies. People say it's anywhere between 36 inches to 42 inches. So what, what does that mean? That means frost can actually dive down and get, you know, around 30 to 36 inches deep. And if frost gets under something, it will heave. So you've probably seen a lot on sidewalks, sidewalks and driveways and patios where maybe it's cracked and they're, and, they're, and they're not level with one another. That's usually from frost. What happens during the winter, during a bad winter, frost can get underneath that concrete and break it. The same can be true if you don't have deep enough foundations on a home. Frost can get under there. It can heave it and then it will settle back down. It can heave it and it will settle back down, causing a lot of cracking and um, misalignment and misadjustments and stuff on a home. So I hope that helped you out. I hope that answered some questions for you. So if you found this video informational, uh, make sure to click subscribe above and follow along with us. We, we try to produce about one a week and just try to give you some information. So again, this is Dave with Ab Concrete, and that was three minutes of why with your foundation guy. Take care.